Today we're talking about what it means to be a UI developer. And there's a few different reasons I wanted to talk about this. Number one, it's something that people have a lot of interest in. And number two, I think it's something that there's a lot of confusion about. Part of the reason there's confusion around this term UI developer is that there's a few other terms that are used for the same exact job. So if you ever hear front-end engineer or front-end developer or UI developer, those are all the same thing. With that said, there are two different areas that I wanna tackle in order to answer this question of what is a UI developer. And so the first thing I wanna talk about is what is a UI? And the second thing I wanna talk about is what skills you need in order to do this job. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, first off, what is a UI? UI stands for user interface. And this is basically the part of an app or a website that is user facing that the user can see and interact with. But this UI can look a few different ways. So first of all, you have your browser. So if you're using a website, all the things that you see in your browser are the UI. You also have mobile apps. So when you have a mobile app on your phone, that is also a UI. So when you are using the app, there's a whole lot of software behind the scenes. Think about Uber, all of the logistics, all the calling the cars and all that kind of stuff is all happening behind the scenes. All you're seeing is this UI, this app that is showing you that, hey, your car's five minutes from you. And then we have a whole lot of miscellaneous UIs. So think of, for example, the screen on your ATM or the screen that you use to order a coffee at a Cafe X, for example. Those are UIs as well, you're interacting with them, but they don't really fit the definition of a web browser or a mobile app. So to sum up our distinction, the parts of an app or a website or a piece of software that you interact with are the UI, and all the stuff that runs behind the scenes is not. One more quick definition before we move on to the job description, and that is that UIs are sometimes called clients. So if you hear client or client side, that means the front end or the UI side and not the back end or all the parts of software that you don't see. So I realize there's a whole lot of terms floating around there and some of them mean the same things, but I did wanna make that distinction. All right, secondly, let's talk about what skills you need to do this job of UI developer. First, I wanna read a definition that I think may be helpful in framing the job for us. And so the definition of a UI developer from IT Career Finder is a user interface developer combines programming psychology and creative design to craft intuitive controls for software and hardware. The UI developer's mission is to create an interface that behaves as users would expect it to, facilitating a seamless and efficient user experience. And I think this is a really good definition because it has a large emphasis on the user, which makes sense given that it's called a user interface, but a lot of a front-end developer's job or a UI developer's job focuses on creating great experiences for the user, and it's a little bit more creative than backend, I would say, or creative in different ways. So if you are into design, into making things look really nice, then being a front-end developer may be a really good fit for you. Okay, but what skills do you need in order to craft these great user experiences? Let's start with the web because that's what I know best. And the foundational technologies of the web have been around basically since the internet was a thing and you need all of them in order to be a fully fledged front end developer. In my book, the technologies are HTML, which gives a web page its structure, CSS, which gives a web page its style, and JavaScript, which gives a web page its interactivity. In the past 10 years or so, there have also been numerous JavaScript frameworks that have come out. And so you probably need to learn one of those in order to work with modern technologies. Your next question may be, how do I go about learning these things? And that's a great question. There are various roadmaps out there from roadmaps.sh, which I think is a great resource. I will link that below, but it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot of technologies on a lot of these roadmaps. And so I would say, keep it simple. Try to learn the things I mentioned, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And specifically, I would recommend doing project-based learning, where you have a project that is designed for you to implement and use the skills of a particular technology. So let's say you're learning HTML, maybe you build Berkshire Hathaway's website, which is pretty ugly, but it's basically just HTML, right? And so basically what you wanna do is when you're learning something, you want to test your skills in a way that isolates those skills as much as possible. Now, when you're learning CSS, for example, 
CSS is inherently tied to HTML, but you basically just want to be stretching yourself. You want to be doing project-based learning because I think that's the best way to learn as opposed to just learning a random set of skills and not really having an end goal in mind. I've talked about this a lot on the channel in the past, so I won't belabor it here, but always be thinking about what is a project I can build in order to use these skills that I'm learning. If you're not sure of what to build, then ask me in the comments and I will respond. And I'm also building a resource in the form of a Notion page that gives examples and ideas of projects that you can build for each step in the journey. So be sure to check out the description for that link. Now, mobile is a whole separate beast, so we'll leave that to the side for now but I think this is enough to get you started. So go ahead, go out, start learning, use the resources that are available to you and be sure to build projects. Thanks so much for watching to the end. If you're still here, you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. So consider sticking around, but regardless, thanks so much for being here. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.